Down goes Mewtwo. If it can survive the Shadow Force, then it is going through. Here comes Mew. How much damage will it do here? It's enough. It takes down Articuno and Mew and Mewtwo are quarterfinal bound. Welcome back to another episode of Metromania, the ongoing 16-team metronome-only double battle tournament to determine the Metromania champion. It's been wonderful so far. Last week, Mew and Mewtwo were victorious over Articuno and Galarian Articuno. The clone team moves on, or at least the team that's like one clone and one not clone. This week is Heat 4 as Moltres and Galarian Moltres take on Xerneas and Iveltal. Now, this is going to be a very interesting battle because, of course, Iveltal's Dark Aura actually benefits Galarian Moltres as well. So Galarian Moltres, if it uses any Dark-type moves, I mean, if anyone uses any Dark-type moves, technically, they're going to be a little bit stronger. But, of course, Dark-type moves are Galarian Moltres' bread and butter, which is going to be very, very interesting going forward. I wonder if it's going to have any effect. Maybe it'll have no effect at all. That's the beauty of Metromania. We just don't know. If Eltol starts things off with Reversal, doesn't do a lot of damage to Galarian Moltres, but it gives me an opportunity to shout out Re Reversal. We love Reversal. He's a good lad. He shiny hunts Feebas, and we respect that. Here's Cosmic Power from Xerneas. Going to increase its defense on special defense by one stage to start off this battle. Over to Galarian Moltres now, and what's on its mind? It's going to go for Frost Breath, which will be super effective, just like hitting the subscribe button and the like button on Iveltal. Their massive damage. Iveltal getting a... Uh, getting hit by a critical hit. Good lord, what is wrong with me today? Here we see Weather Ball from regular Moltres, which is going to land on, I believe it's on Xerneas. It is on Xerneas there. Xerneas taking a little bit of chip damage there from that Weather Ball. But everybody except Iveltal looking pretty, pretty healthy right now. Speaking of Iveltal, now it starts off the next turn and on its mind is Dragon Claw. Which Moltres is it going to land on? It's going to go for the regular Moltres there for a nice chunk of damage. And over to Xerneas now, of course, who will now go for Charge. It's interesting to note that Xerneas and Iveltal, I always forget this, have the exact same stat distribution. Like, like stat for stat, they're all the same. It's literally their typings is the only way these Pokemon differ, and their appearance, obviously, uh, and their abilities. A lot of differences then, basically. Here's a Storm Throw, though, onto Xerneas. Not a lot of damage dealt, though, even with that critical hit caused Xerneas resisting Storm Throw. Over to Galarian Moltres, though. What will it do here? Galarian Moltres is going to go for Mega Horn, which would be neutral on Iveltal, but is on Xerneas, so it's not very effective. Unfortunate play right there, because Megahorn's a great move to bust out. And if you could have done a decent chunk of damage there to a Veltal, you could slowly, slowly pick away at it. Here we see uh, Xerneas, though, who's going to go for Light Screen. Onto which, of it, uh, onto which of its opponents? Light Screen protects from special hits, you... Fool! Here we go. Iveltal, though, is going to follow up. What's it going to do? We're going to go for Octolock onto which of the Moltres there? Onto the regular Moltres. That's going to lower Moltres' defense and special defense at the end of every turn by one stage going forward, which is detrimental. So the Moltres team need to work harder if they're going to survive this. We see Vice Grip spelt wrong on Iveltal there for a tiny bit of damage. Moltres very much not known for its physical attack. And here's Galarian Moltres, who's going to go for Vault Tackle. Onto which of its opponents? Onto Iveltal there, taking it down. Iveltal is out of here. Critical hit on that Vault Tackle. Well done to Galarian Moltres, who is about to take some recoil damage, though. Although not a great deal. So now it's just Xerneas versus both Moltres. What a great play by Galarian Moltres, busting out. That super effective Vault Tackle with a crit as well. Xerneas is ready to go though, and it's going to fire off Shell Sidearm. Shades of Galarian Slowbro right there. Onto Moltres for a big chunk of damage. Moltres taking a big hit, but not getting poisoned by it. And now Galarian Moltres is going to fire back with Sand Tomb, which is going to do a little bit of damage there to uh, Xerneas, but also do a little bit of uh, progressive damage going forward. At the end of each turn, that Sand Tomb is going to take effect. We see Spirit Shackle from Moltres onto Xerneas there which is the signature move of Decidueye. Not a great deal of damage at all, though, but Xerneas now takes damage from the Sand Tomb, which is going to keep damaging it going forward. It's less than half its max HP. It really needs to pull out the big guns, like maybe a Fairy-type move or something like that, although that would be resisted by the Fire-type Moltres. Here we see uh, Xerneas with Shadow Ball, though, onto which of its opponents there? 
on to Galarian Moltres, who does resist it, so not a great play there at all by Xerneas. Bit of a missed opportunity there, should have gone for the regular Moltres. We see Poison Jab coming out from Galarian Moltres, which will be super effective on Xerneas there. Will it get the poison as well? It doesn't, so that's very lucky for Xerneas, but it's not looking so fresh right now. Regular Moltres is going to go for Aqua Tail. So it's going to be some hot water right there. On to Xerneas. It's in the danger zone. Here comes the Sand Tomb. How much damage will that do? Sand Tomb takes it out. 1-0 to the Moltres team as we take a word from our sponsor. Listen, let's be real. You know why I'm here. And I know why I'm here. And you know why I'm here. So let's just cut to the chase. Use code Ace Money off G Fuel. And then I can go back indoors. And I don't have to freeze my ass off out here. If you use code Ace Money off G Fuel, you can get some on G Fuel for Christmas. And do you know how much they're going to love you if you get them G Fuel for Christmas? They'll love you more than I love myself. And that's a bloody lot of love to give. So this Christmas, code Ace, G Fuel. It's just the smart decision. And here we go with round two. Everybody's back on the field. Moltres and Galarian Moltres have the advantage right now. One to zero on Xerneas and Eveltal. Of course, Xerneas and Eveltal, if they want to go through to the quarterfinals, have to equalize this turn. Otherwise, if Moltres and Galarian Moltres are victorious, it will be a 2-0 victory for them. And then it will go to a pride round where Xerneas and Eveltal will be fighting to at least leave with their pride. Xerneas starts off with an Ice Shard onto Galarian Moltres for a big chunk of damage there. That's a great start, though. Over to Eveltal now. And what is on its mind? It's Smart Strike onto which of its opponents there? Onto, again, the Pokemon that does not resist. Galarian Moltres takes a big chunk of damage, but does get its special attack increased by Berserk there. I should point out, uh, Moltres doesn't resist ice. It's just neutral, but you know what I mean. Here's Gust, though, from Moltres onto Xerneas. Stab move, not a great deal of damage, but still more damage than you probably expect from a Gust on a Xerneas. Galarian Moltres is going to go for Lash Out, which is a Dark-type move onto Xerneas there, so it's going to be resisted. But, of course, the Dark Aura from Eveltal should be powering that up. And, of course, it's same type attack bonus as well. Didn't do a great deal of damage, but still. Here's Xerneas, though, who is ready and raring to go after that Ice Shard on Galarian Moltres. Goes for Stone Edge. And if that's on the Fire type, that's bad news. And down goes Moltres in a single hit. Stone Edge is Moltres's worst nightmare. Down goes regular Moltres. We're down to just Galarian Moltres. Here's Focus Energy. Eveltal wants to land some critical hits in this battle. My absolute word. I'm still in shock. I'm still shaken. Stone Edge absolutely rinsed Moltres there. Galarian Moltres looks to fire back with Shift Gear. It's going to increase its speed by two stages and its attack by one stage. This is that move I always mix up with Autotomize, but I think you guys have finally taught me. There you go. Speed up two, attack up one. There we go. Who is next? What is going to happen right now? We've got uh, Galarian Moltres now the fastest thing on the field. Faster than its opponents. It's going to go for Dragon Darts, which won't affect Xerneas. And I love this about Dragon Darts. It normally hits both opponents, but it'll hit a single opponent if the opposing Pokemon... If, if one of the opponents is immune to Dragon Darts, then Dragon Darts will just hit the partner. And I love that. Darkest Lariat from Eveltal incoming. It's going to be same type attack bonus powered up by Dark Aura. Takes out Galarian Moltres. It's... That was what? Three turns? My word, they have equalized. And now we are on to a neck and neck situation. We have Xerneas and Eveltal fighting for a place in the quarterfinal, as is Moltres and Galarian Moltres. The winner of this round will go on to face Mew and Mewtwo in a few weeks' time in quarterfinal two. So which way is it going to go? Have you placed your bets down in the comments? Let me know and then edit your comment and pretend you were right. Here's Jewel Chop, though, from Xerneas to start things off. Two Dragon-type physical hits there onto Moltres. Big chunk of damage, though, for the first turn. Over to Eveltal now, who's ready and waiting with Oblivion Wing. Its own signature move. There we go. Clap for it. Well done. We love when a Pokemon uses its own signature move in Metromania because that's so unlikely to happen. Critical hit as well. Activates Galarian Moltres as Berserk, but we're so proud of, of Eveltal for that. That was wonderful. I hope more Pokemon do that going forward. Moltres goes for Lick, which is a Ghost-type move, which is going to deal a little bit of damage to Xerneas. Doesn't get the Paralysis, though. Over to Galarian Moltres now. They're going to go for Dual Wing Beat. Two Flying-type physical hits there. 
onto Iveltal for a big chunk of damage as well. Like, a fair, fair chunk. Two hit moves. Never never scoff at them, although they do have two chances to miss, but we'll, we'll just forget that. Iveltal, though, is ready for the next round, and Iveltal is going to go for Mega Punch, which should do a big chunk of physical damage right there onto Galarian Moltres. Puts it in the danger zone. Galarian Moltres is not looking like it's having a good time right now. We see Super Fang from Xerneas which is going to half the current HP of Moltres, bringing it very close to the danger zone. Moltres now, what is it going to do here? Moltres is going to go for Cotton Guard, which is going to increase its defense by three stages. So that's going to give it that little bit of extra protection, maybe concerned about a, uh, a Stone Edge or something going forward. Galarian Moltres, though, is going to go for Last Resort. That is going to fail. What's going to happen next? Xerneas and Iveltal very much in the driver's seat right now. Xerneas is gearing up with the metronome. What's it going to do? It's going to go for Misty Explosion. That's a bad idea. I mean, we have a Pokemon. It's a Fairy-type explosive move. It's going to do super effective damage on both Iveltal and Galarian Moltres. Takes itself and Galarian Moltres and Iveltal out. But regular Moltres survives on 16 hit points. That means that the Moltres team have won it. They're, they're going through. I, I'm in shock. That was incredible. The Galer... The, the, I, I'm, I'm just in shock. I I can't believe it. That... I, wow. Okay, well, tune in next week when Glastria and Spectria take on Latios and Latias. What? 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 So that'll do it for another episode of Metromania. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Use code ACE for money off G Fuel and come and hang out at twitch.tv forward slash Ace Trainer Liam. I'm there pretty much most of the week. It's really, really fun. Have a good time. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.